Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shauna and today I'm going to be doing a comparison review of Masterbook's Level K Math against um, the Good and the Beautiful Level K Math so you guys can kind of get an idea about, um, you know, just which one you think that would work best for your family. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into the review. <music> So before I jump into the review, um, I just wanted to let you know that it is going to be kind of long because I'm going to go over kind of like the overview of both of them. So like the price, the learning objectives, the scope and sequence, and um, and just a little like basically just information on both books. And then I'm going to do a complete flip through. So make sure that if there's something that you're really interested in seeing or something that you don't really care to see, you check the um, description bar. I'm going to do timestamps so you can just click around um, if you don't want to watch everything from front, you know, from beginning to end. So I'm going to turn around the camera and get this review started. All right, you guys, so let's talk about price first because, you know, as homeschooling moms, we have to maintain our homeschool funds, right? So Masterbooks Math Level K is $35.99 on their site, and what is included in that is basically just the course book, and then at the end of the book, there is a number practice sheet. I cannot turn the pages. <laughs> There's a shape practice sheet, a monthly calendar, and um, different calendar activities and exercises. Now, The Good and the Beautiful is $49.98, but they also offer free PDF versions of their curriculum from grades K through 5 on their website. Uh, you just have to print it and bind it. Now, what is included in this is the course book, and then they have reviews and assessments throughout the text. I have my little post-it notes, so let me just show you guys real quick what the assessment could look like. There are three in total, so one And it is recommended to purchase a uh, math box that has like learning manipulatives in it and that is sold separately for $20. Now, I did not purchase the box. I just decided that, because uh, I have some math games and that come with their own manipulatives that I figured I could just use. So I don't think you'll necessarily have to buy that box. It's just one of those things that's probably nice to have because it'll line up perfectly with this. But if you're willing to get a little creative, you can save yourself $20. Now both of these curriculums are biblically based with a Charlotte Mason approach. Masterbooks is recommended to complete over 36 weeks doing the curriculum five days a week and they say that it takes about 30 minutes a day. The Good and the Beautiful takes uh, 30 weeks. It is done four days a week, and their curriculum states that it takes 10 to 12 minutes to complete each lesson. Now we're going to get into the scope and sequence. So we're going to start with Master Books Math first. Huh. Okay, so as you can see, Masterbook's scope and sequence lays out everything that your child will be covering per week. So they don't dive into what they're going to be doing each and every single day, just, hey, on lesson 23, they're going to be working on the number 8, graphing and shapes. They also offer a supply list at the very beginning of the book. So it will tell you each item that you will need in addition to the lesson for each week. Most of these things are things that you'll be able to find around the house, like, you know, rice or cereal to measure, post-it notes or index cards, uh, clear glass jars, blocks. 
but there might be some things that, you know, you don't have and that you'll just have to go and pick up, such as, um, you know, there's recipes included. So it says that you'll need some black beans, kidney beans, pinto beans, some ground beef, tomato sauce, things like that. Obviously that one is optional, but just to keep in mind that this will be a nice thing to have. So you, when you're planning and you're making things like your grocery list, you'll want to take a look at the book. Uh, the next thing is they offer a daily schedule, but it's more of like a checklist. This might be great for people who live in strict states with homeschooling laws and they need to keep, you know, a really meticulous record of the day that their child completes something uh, and then what grade that they received. Now, this little checkbox, you can complete... You, you can mark it as, you know, completed work or mastered, whatever the concept was for that day. All right, so the beginning of each week starts with a story about Charlie and Charlotte, who are twins. And it just goes over the things that they're doing, the things that they're learning. And while you don't have, um, you know, actual scripture within the story, it does talk about their faith and their love for God. And then I'll give you, I'll flip through just the first week to give you guys an idea of what you can expect. There is parent narration, so it's not, you know, student-led, especially at this age. Okay, and now moving on to the good and the beautiful, Math K. So their scope and sequence is set up a little differently. Masterbooks considers their lessons per week the good and the beautiful considers their lessons uh, per day. So you get a little bit more of an idea of what your child will be working on each day. So for instance, lesson one, they're gonna be going over numbers one to three. Lesson 19, they're gonna learn tally marks up to five. Lesson 69, they're gonna learn time and you know, so on and so forth. So you get to dive in a little bit deeper onto what, into what their, um, doing on a daily basis with this one. There is also a hundreds chart at uh, the beginning of the book right after the scope and sequence. And then you get, you know, a little quip about about the course, some frequently asked questions. Now I'll flip through the first week just so you can have an idea. They do not have a supply list at the beginning of the book. However, they do have it at the top of each lesson before you start it. I will say that skimming through it, this um, supply seem to be pretty minimal. So for instance, this one has a fruit snack or small food item and three small objects in nature. So that should be fairly simple to find. And not every day has supplies that are required. So I'm going to flip through the first week just so you guys can get an idea of this one as well. It, as you can see, it is also colorful and engaging. It does have um, parent narration prompts as well. And each day's lesson is roughly two pages. I mean, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, but that's the first week of the curriculum. All right, you guys, I, I'm using my FitFab Fun Box to prop the book up a little bit better so you can see fully. Uh, we're going to do the flip through of Master Books Math now. So getting into the meat and potatoes of what your children will learn with this book. The learning objectives are to learn to count from zero to 10 they will learn number recognition from 0 to 10. They will explore weight and measurement. They will learn and review patterns, shapes, and time. They will cover tracing. They will learn how to use a calendar and the months of the year. They will learn directions and phrases for positions, so like above, below, in front, behind. They will learn different graphs, and they will learn weather. 
There are also some um, cooking, some recipes like I mentioned, so your child will learn some cooking skills, which can also be, um, you know, like comprehension, can they follow directions, can they uh, state what a list is from the recipe. There are a lot of different learning avenues that you can work into um, cooking with your child. There are some spots for critical thinking and they will also go over sorting. you guys so now we are going to do the flip through for the good and the beautiful math K as well as go over the learning objectives and at the end of this um, flip through I will post like a picture side by side of like the learning objectives from master books and the learning objectives of the good and the beautiful so that way you can kind of like screenshot it and just you know compare for yourself and see everything all in one place so with this curriculum, your child will learn how to count from 0 to 100, as well as number recognition from those numbers. They will learn how to um, use tally marks. They will do calendar activities, so they'll learn their months and days. They will go over shapes and 10 sticks. They will learn how to use more and less. They will learn um, the directions and position phrases, so above, below, in front, behind, 
right and left. They will learn time, sorting, matching. They will learn what the place value system is. This is also where they will learn addition and subtraction. They will learn to count by twos and fives. And finally, they will learn some money skills. So they will learn how to work with pennies, nickels, and dimes. And then they get reviews worked within um, the text like I showed you guys more towards the beginning. Now, um, as far as religious content, I have not seen any specific scriptures. Um, I have seen a brief mention of Jesus. I have skimmed this, so I haven't gone, you know, through it completely, like, in depth regarding reading every single word. You kind of just, you know, scrim to, or scrim, you kind of skim <laughs> to look for scripture um, mentions and things like that. I hope that the little comparison chart I just posted side by side helps you guys. You can kind of like screenshot it and hopefully that can help you make your decision on which curriculum you're going to use. If you already know what you're going to use or this review helped you, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear, um, you know, what you found helpful. And that's not to say, like none of this review is to say, you're going to hear my children yelling <laughs> that one curriculum is better than the other because it's not because you know, what works for one child won't work for another one. So this, you know, wasn't to say that one was better than the other or anything like that. I tried to give the information just kind of factual. So if you would like to see my review on, um, master books math individually, I'll link it up here because it'll go on this side. And, um, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. I am going to have another review coming up on um, a comparison of The Good and the Beautiful and Master Books Kindergarten Language Arts. So if you are interested in seeing that, make sure you hit the little bell so you get notified when I post that video. I'm hoping to have that up uh, shortly after this video. So yeah, that is it for the review. I will see you guys later. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.